Yes, we know Charlie Behrens as an Emmy-winning journalist, a comedian, a podcaster, and of course the creator of the Manitowoc Minute. We'll add this to the resume, accomplished author. As just in time for the holidays, he has the Midwest Survival Guide, helping people navigate this wonderful part of the country. Charlie, great to have you here with us. Uh, I have to ask, first of all, what would your elementary or middle school English teachers think of you as a published author now? Oh, yeah. Well, I think they just have two words. They'd, uh, they'd be like, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I, and I say it's a very thick book, so if any of the tables there, or any of the news desks are wobbling, you stuff that under there, it's going to be really strong. And secure. That's why we want the cardboard backing. You know, it's really sturdy. Although I will say not as many pictures as I expected for this thick a book. There's a lot of words in here. Impressive, sir. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, I did struggle with that because I myself am more of a, a, of a visual guy. And I, in fact, when I was writing, it was saying, hey, can we do more pictures? Then I would do less writing. But they said, they said, yeah, no, they, they, they pushed me. They really did. And so I, I'm pretty happy with a lot of the words in there. I haven't found any spelling errors yet. So that's, I also haven't read it since I published it. But uh, don't. <laughs> Well, we won't call you on it. Don't worry. Uh, it does inform. It does educate. One of the things that I maybe should have known but learned from flipping through part of it, Jack Dawson, Leo's character in Titanic, is apparently from Wisconsin, which actually explains the end, to, end of the movie to me. He was just being Midwest nice and fell off the plank. Yeah, I mean, what, that was it. You know, I always thought about the ending of that movie because it, it didn't quite make sense because, you know, Rose is sitting there saying, Jack, I'll never let go. And then Jack says, Rose, I love you. And then drops him to the bottom of the deep blue sea. You know, it doesn't make sense. But what if he was, like, actually from Wisconsin? Would he have said, I love you? I don't know. I think he would have actually said something more along the lines. Of like, you know, Rose, I lack the emotional capacity to tell you I love you. So I'm just going to tell you this. Watch for deer. You know, and that <laughs> more sense why she would have dropped him to the bottom of the deep blue sea. I, I think that was the one thing missing in that film was Jack's dedication to Character. I think we need to get James Cameron on the phone and maybe rework a couple of those last scenes. You're on to something. I wanted you to know that we respect you here on the show, and, and I would pretend like I had read this by flipping to a part of the book and then describing it so you'd think I gave you the time to get through all of it. The part on uh, being different types of Wisconsin people is hilarious. The hunter that says vegetarian is a Bavarian word for terrible aim. Or this one spoke to me as a transplant, the transplant who has an unchanged cell phone number revealing an area code not from the Midwest. You really, you really hit the, the core of so many of us, whether we're born here or just moved here and want to be. Yeah, that was what we tried to do, you know. And, and the idea kind of came from a bunch of uh, fans who were, were always reaching out saying, you know, I'm coming here for college and do you have any how-tos or tips or whatever? Or like, you know, uh, my, I have grandkids now in the Midwest, so I'm moving to be closer to them. What are your tips? So it really came from that. And then I just started thinking about all these other concepts that people who are coming here need to know. But also people who are here may not know. You know, I mean, if, if you're in Wisconsin and you go down to Cincinnati and someone offers you a three-way, you know, you might be looking at them a little weird until you figure out that that's just a chilly situation. <laughs> There we go. We can learn something about all of our Midwest neighbors here. Uh, thank you very much for the time. Jokes aside, the book really is hilarious. There's a ton in here for people to enjoy that I'm sure will speak to uh, so many of the Wisconsinites as well. And you're coming on tour as well. We should mention some dates coming up at the Paps Theater in January. Hopefully we can have you back on as you get back out on the road and bring uh, this particular part of the world to so many of us. And we love you for it. Thanks a lot for being with us here, Charlie. All right, watch out for deer. Yes, sir, which we now know means he loves us. He loves us. I love that. We love you, Charlie. Thanks for being on the show. Looking for a place to hold a family outing?